Disney Queen Skelly here and welcome back to a reacting video. So today I'm reacting to Harley Baby's Disney Alter Ego. Now if you don't know how my reacting videos work at this point, I watch her video, um, comment on it when I want to or have something to say, and then I give it an overall rating at the end. Pardon hubby jumping in the background. Twins, it's Harley Boo from Five here. If you can see a little bit of this on the screen, I'm holding a little unicorn plushie here. She's keeping me company while I do all of these poses, but I'm having a lot of fun with these. So the next one is everyone has that squishy looks adorable. The wholesome Disney alter ego. Here's yours. This one should be interesting. I don't know what to expect. So let's get her going. I think with this one as well, what I'm going to do is give my own answer before she gives hers. <laughs> Who's your favorite Disney prince? Prince Bella. Aladdin, Prince Charming, Lee Shang, Kristoff, Prince Philip, Prince Florian. My favorite Disney prince is not on here. Her favorite Disney prince is Prince Eric. But a close second, I would say, is Aladdin. Not a bad choice. Which animal speaks to your soul? Definitely. If they're talking in terms of just the animals that are on there, a, ca a cat, I can be sweet, but poke me in the wrong place and I could be vicious. A lion, a dog, a cat, a frog, a bird, a fox. I am probably one of the laziest humans known to man, so a cat would probably speak to me the most. That is not what I thought when I thought cat. What is your greatest strength? Probably none of these. Um, <laughs> My ambition. I'm very ambitious. When I set my mind on something, I just, I have to do it. My loyalty, my wit, my kindness, my... Definitely not my kindness, though. I'm not kind to everybody, and it's not my strong suit. But she's definitely very kind. Sense of humor, my ambition, my bravery. What sense of humor? <laughs> no. Oh, you have one. I feel like getting a little bit of a twisted sense of humor. There you go. Um, don't have much wit. Not very ambitious. I would say my kindness. People tell me. Amen. I've been told I'm really, really kind. Pick a place to live. Either Atlantis or Wonderland. Utopia, Atlantis, Neptune City, Pride Lands, Enchanted Forest, or Wonderland. Hmm is a good question. I'm surprised she didn't pick Neptune City because I'm pretty sure that's a Little Mermaid reference from the TV show, maybe? Or Wonderland right away. Like, she had to actually think about it. I would say Atlantis. Shocking. How would you tear up a friend? Offer them... I would listen to them and then offer advice and then tell them it will be okay. But the first thing I would do is just listen. A hug, just listen, watch a funny movie together, treat them to ice cream, tell them it will be okay, offer advice. It's between offer them a hug and just listen. She is the type to just listen because whenever I'm in a funk, she always stands there until I'm ready to talk and then she listens and then she offers me a hug but i am a big hugger yes she is she loves giving hugs so i'm gonna go with offer them a hug pick a comfort food pasta mac and cheese dumplings fries chicken and waffles spaghetti chicken noodle soup oh, i'm sorry they call it paschetti chicken noodle soup what does that person say okay i'm done she does those cute little references all the time, and it's absolutely adorable. Um, mac and cheese. I am a big mac and cheese girl. She's a cheeseaholic in general. Finally, pick something to snuggle with. A puppy, a... A stuffed animal. A fluffy blanket, a kitten, a weighted blanket, a big... Stuffed animal! I am a huge... Knew it. ...fan of my stuffies. Oh, I got spotch! 
Don't ask me what I would have gotten because I'm not going to take this quiz quite yet. <laughs> stitch. You I'll also add her stitch impression is adorable. You may come across as tough at first, but you've got a heart of gold. You're, you value fun, family, and friends. That is mostly true. She doesn't really come off as tough. When I first met her, she scared the ever-living shit out of me. But I'm sure to others she maybe comes across as maybe the heart of gold first, but that's just my opinion. True, although I don't usually come across as tough at first. Oops, she mentioned that. First, usually soft and squishy. Yes, she does come across as soft and squishy. Funny, after I watched this video, I texted her and I literally said, You are soft and squishy! And at first she didn't know what the hell I was talking about until she realized that one of her videos uploaded. But I will take what I can get. That was the Wholesome Disney Alter Eagle quiz. If you guys take this quiz, let me know what your answers would be and what results you would get. I'll tell you when I get there. Thank you so much for watching, Quinn. Love you. So, um, I did have to put on headphones to try and hear it. I hope you guys could still hear it. Fingers crossed I don't have to redo this one. But, um, I would give the video, despite having to wear headphones, an 8 out of 10. I couldn't really hear you until I put these on, and even then I had to turn off the turn up the volume. But your video was very good. Um, I liked the the quiz itself. It was super cute. Um, I love being able to like share my answers with you guys while she's putting her answers in. Um, but yeah, I like that she took the quiz idea. It's really cool. Um, she's doing a really good job with it. She has more quiz videos that she's done, and they are all super awesome. And I hope to take those quizzes myself in the future. But other than just the hearing problem, 8 out of 10. Loved it, Harley baby. Keep up the great work. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. Fill in the heart. Love you guys.